Hey guys, I made a neural network. Okay, that stock footage had nothing to do with the actual video. Making a neural network isn't actually that hard. All you have to do is collect the data, train the data, boom, you have a neural network. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is you gotta figure out how you're gonna collect the data. And I could just go on the internet and find data sets, but why would I do that? I have to do so much work. I have to organize the data. I have to do so much. So what I did was I set up a command that gets data from the community. So then you're so-called friends can input bad data and make the bot stupid so what you have to do is you do train you select the mode so let's try greeting uh and all you have to do now is just type green like hello hello how are you okay i misspelled that yeah and then you type a certain message to stop so uh, hello bye 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 all right once you get enough data you have to shove it all into the bot and it will somehow learn wow this is actually kind of beautiful all right so now we actually have to test if it works please god please i hope this works all right learner hello yes 98 percent greeting all right learn all right let's try uh all right let's try something i definitely didn't teach it uh, you- you touch your little sister. That was not in the training set. Let's see if it can identify it. Yo, insult! 80% insult! Okay, okay, let's try something stupid that we didn't teach it, but let's see what it- F Okay, so then what I did was I saved my AI, and basically all the data for this AI are in one of these two files. I don't know which, so let's try this one. Why is it all in Chinese? Alright, we made it kind of far, but the sad thing is we're only half of the way there. We need the bot to calculate a response and send it back to the person. So the solution is add a new training mode to let the community input even more bad data. So I added a response training mode and all you do is uh, you train greeting. Uh, it says, what is going on? Nothing much. How about you? Let's see. Hey man. Hey bro. What's up, my G? The sky. And then you end the session when you don't want to talk to it anymore, and it saves the data for later. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the user's message, compare it to one of the messages in our database, and take the one with the highest similarity and find the response associated with that message. Alright, first you have to compare the strings. We're gonna use a metric called the Jaro Winkler distance, which basically calculates the amount of changes you have to make to, um, basically change one string into another string and then just multiply it with some stuff subtract it from some stuff so what you have to do to find the jaro winkler distance is first you have to find something called the jaro distance which is basically this formula so in the formula m stands for the number of characters that appear in both strings so let's say in the word cat and apple a appears the letter a appears in both cat and apple so that would mean plus one to the variable m. Uh, t is the half the number of transpositions you have to make, which is basically how many characters you have to change from one word to make it into another word. And if you divide that amount by two, then you get t. S1 is how long the first string is, and S2 is how long the second string is. So if you basically just plug your data in this formula, then you should get the Jaro distance. Alright, so once you found the Jaro distance, you have to find the Jaro Winkler distance. So in short terms, what the Jaro Winkler distance does is it improves the score of similarity based on how similar the prefixes are. So if you take the words pump and pumpkin, uh, the Jaro distance, let's say, would be like X. They, they have a prefix of four letters that are similar. So what the Jaro Winkler distance does is increases the value of similarity by this common prefix. Hey guys, so we basically finished training the AI and now we can talk to you. So let's test it out with something simple first. So let's be like, what's up homie? What's up? Question mark. Okay, that was an okay response. Uh, let's try an insult. You're a uh, shut up clown. No one likes you. Yeah, that's kind of offensive. Obviously an insult. I'm pretty sure the bot could tell. 
No, you. Okay. The bot's actually a savage. Uh, alright, we gotta make a rebuttal. You touch your mother when she sleeps. It's only because talking to you makes me temporarily lose brain cells. What? Okay. Uh, I don't know if that actually made sense, but sure. Alright, let's try a goodbye. See you later. Bye. Okay, that was a good response. You are a really intelligent bot. Just letting you know. Happy face. Okay. This bot can use emojis, that's nice. Let's try... Uh... Suck my dick. Yeah. That's the classic one. Where? There's nothing to suck. Okay, I'm sad, bye.